Welcome to the RC Community Sticker Project, brought to you by Fast Freddy RC. In today's video, we're doing a shout out to Spare Time RC, incredible guy, insane speed runs, and Al, you have a seriously infectious laugh. So for step 13, the front uprights, well, we've got to grab these parts off the, off the parts tree. We've got the ball connector, we've got some front axles, we've got bearings, we've got step screws, etc. for this step. So there are the pieces that we need off of the parts tree. And then of course we've got our step screws, ball connectors, front axles, and a couple of bearings. So I'll set this up and let's get to work. So I think for this step, let's start on this end. So we know that we need to grab one of these pieces here. And based on how they're showing it, we know that there needs to be a ball connector on the underside. So again, I would use the box wrench, put it in there, and we know that it's going to attach like that. So I'm just going to spin that on and you can see that it's going in pretty level. So I'll just keep spinning that on until we get to the end. Looking pretty good so far. And there we go, we're right to the end there. So there we have one of the ball connectors on. Now, you can see that we need to put a bearing on the inside. So we're gonna pop that bearing down there. And I can't quite feel it, so I'm going to have to use, maybe I'll use the back side of this to push it in. There we go. So now you can see it down there. It's level, feels right. So there you go. You can see the bearings right down there. So we know that this is this way. We know that the axle itself is going to fit through into there. So you can also see that they want you to grease this up near the end there. So I will do just that. In fact, I'll grab it from this end and we're just gonna put a little bit there. Spin it around. And I mean, I know we've put the ball bearings in, so maybe we don't need to do this part, but I'm not worried. I'm happy to do it. So we'll stick that inside there. So there we go. There is one of the front axles in. So put that to the side. Now we're gonna grab one of these pieces here. And you can see that in terms of the positioning, it's got the, you can see how it's inset. The top part is inset, but it's not on the bottom. So you don't want to set this up this way because then it's at the bottom. We need that inset on the top so that it looks like that from the side. We need that on the top. So we're gonna grab this and you can see that it's going to sit just like that basically. So we've got our step screws. Now you can see that they're wanting you to uh, grease that up as well. So we'll do that. We'll grease this up. And then we'll take this one, take this one, put that there, and turn this around. Make sure that's going into the hole. Yes, it is. And we're going to screw that in. Now, I'm not going to screw it all the way in yet because I want to make sure that it's going in right. In actual fact, it's not. Notice it's slightly on an angle, so I'm going to unscrew that. 
And in fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the other one goes in first as well. So let's grab the other step screw. And now we can attach that to this side. And I'm going to start screwing that in. I just want to see that it's going in correctly. So same thing with this. Now that that side is going in and is attached, I just want to make sure that that is going in properly as well, which it seems to be. So I'll start screwing this one in again a bit. And again, as soon as I get to the end, I'm not going to over tighten. So there we go. So there is one of our front uprights. Now I'm just going to go ahead and build the other one. No point in repeating myself here. And then, uh, then we'll come back and take a quick look. So there we go. Both sides of the uprights are done. So that step is finished. So now we can move on to step 14 and attach the front uprights.